Hello, I'm going to talk about a special kind of image segmentation that is called vessel detection or vesselness enhancement. Uh, we are going to analyze the second order char characteristics of uh, image points. I would like to show you a simple uh, demo program. Here on the right side you see our sample input image. This is the X-ray digital subtraction angiography of uh, human coronary arteries. Uh, what we can do here is drag a point of interest on the input image and uh, on the left side we see the second order characteristics of this particular point. Uh, what we analyze here is the Hessian matrix of uh, the small neighborhood or close neighborhood of a point. The Hessian matrix consists of the second order derivatives of the image at a certain point. This matrix is uh, 2 by 2 uh, in case of two-dimensional images and it's always symmetric being the off-diagonal elements equal. Uh, so what you should uh, note is that we are computing four different values uh, being two equal for each image point. So returning back to our uh, program. The next thing that is displayed on the left panel is the eigenvalues of the Hessian matrix by red numbers and the corresponding eigenvectors um, by green lines here. Of course uh, the orientation is the only thing that, imp that is important um, of eigenvectors. So what you should notice is that if we put the point of interest on a vessel, then the eigenvector that corresponds to the larger eigenvalue always points in a direction that is perpendicular to the object we are placing our point of interest on. So if we are dragging our point to a horizontal vessel, then the eigenvector of the larger eigenvalue will be vertical. And if we drag our point on a, a vertical structure, then it will be horizontal. And of course, this is always true. So for example, here you see that this direction is perpendicular to this part of the vessel. The computation of eigenvalues and eigenvectors are very simple in this case. If you consider the definition of eigenvectors and eigenvalues of a matrix, then you can see that the computation of eigenvalues is just as simple as solving a quadratic equation. And uh, when you have the eigenvalues, you can back substitute them to the original equation and get the corresponding eigenvectors. So this computation can be made in real time. The other two characteristics that we will talk about is structureness and anisotropy. Um, both are computed from the eigenvalues. Anisotropy is a value that is high only if at the close neighborhood of the point of interest the change in image intensity is great in one direction and small in another perpendicular direction. Of course these are directions of the eigenvectors. Structureness is only a quantity that is high only if there is a, a big change in image intensity in the close neighborhood of the point of interest. Now of course uh, vesselness or probability of the pixel belonging to a vessel is uh, a value mapped between 0 and 1 and this is big only if both anisotropy and structureness is big. This constraint um, should be made because we have uh, dark objects on light background. This inequality should be reversed if you have an image of dark background and light objects. So returning back to our original image, if we place the uh, point of interest on a homogeneous area, then we can see that structureness is low. This means that we have no significant change in image intensity in this neighborhood. And, of course, anisotropy is also low. 
Now if we place the point of interest uh, near a corner, then we can see the structure in S is high. This means that there is a big change in image intensity in this area. But uh, anisotropy is small because this change is uh, uh, big in, in uh, many directions. But if we drag our point on a vessel, then we can see that both structureness and anisotropy is high. This is because there is a big change in image intensity in this area, but this is big only in, in, uh, in this case, the vertical direction, and in the horizontal direction, there is almost no change in the image. So this vessel probability value can be made to uh, compute a vesselness map of the image that looks like this. And by, by uh, thresholding this uh, image, you can get a, a good segmentation of tubular-like structures, in this case, uh, vessels on the image. And it can be used in many applications. OK, so um, most information that I told you now is from this uh, article. You can check this out if you are interested and you can find me on the web and if you have questions then don't hesitate to contact me so thank you for your attention